My name is Marianne Anderson and I'm a haematologist. I work here at the Royal Melbourne and Peter McCallum Cancer Centre. I'm a haematologist and my predominant area of interest is in lymphoma and B-cell leukaemias. What is lymphoma? So I think to understand what lymphoma is, you actually have to understand a little bit about what blood is and how blood is made. Blood consists of red cells, white cells and platelets. And each of these components are fundamentally made in the bone marrow. They are essential for the healthy functioning of our body. Red cells carry oxygen around our body. Platelets help us to stop bleeding if we cut ourselves, for instance. And white cells help us to fight infection. Lymphocytes are um, a form of white blood cell. And they are predominantly found in, found in the lymph node and lymphoid organs, such as the spleen or liver having originated, like all blood cells, in the bone marrow. When these lymphocytes become malignant, that is, change from healthy functional cells into cancer cells, the patient is said to develop lymphoma. So it is a disease of the lymphoid cells. The manifestations of lymphoma can vary depending upon the type of lymphoma and also upon the individual's circumstances. Typical uh, Symptoms and signs that we might see associated with lymphoma include what we call B symptoms. A patient with B symptoms might have very poor energy or lots of fatigue. They might find themselves sweating at night. I often ask patients about the symptom of sweating at night and many patients will say, yes, I sweat at night. But a person with true night sweats um, knows the difference. So um, a person who's having night sweats will often drench the bed or the bed clothes with the severity of the sweat. Other B symptoms include losing weight, and this weight loss is, tends to be unintentional, and it's a significant amount of weight loss. Other than B symptoms, lymphoma can present with lumps, and that's a really common way of patients coming to our attention. They might be in the shower or putting on some clothes and notice a lump. Common sites for lump include the neck, under the arms, and in the groin, although other sites can also occur. Once the patient presents with one of these symptoms or signs that would make us think about lymphoma, the key way to get the diagnosis is to get cells. So often patients who have um, l large lumps will require a biopsy of that lump. So we can look at those cells under the microscope and that helps us to establish the diagnosis. Lymphoma comes in two main types and these two main types pertain to the cell of origin. So the lymphoma can be a lymphoma of the B cells or a lymphoma of the T cells. Um, and that is lymphoma of the B lymphocytes or lymphoma arising from the T lymphocytes. B cell lymphomas are much more common than T cell lymphomas. We often refer to lymphoma in terms of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma and Hodgkin's lymphoma. Again, this uh, harks back to the type of cells that the lymphoma originates from. So individuals with T and B cell lymphomas are said to be non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Patients in whom the lymphoma um, is ar arising in a different type of lymphoid cell uh, can develop uh, lymphoma which is characterized by CD30 and CD15 positive cells. And these patients um, have Hodgkin's lymphoma. The subtype of lymphoma is important because the different types of lymphoma have different uh, outlooks in terms of what patients can expect from the progression of their disease and the different types of lymphoma have different treatments that will optimise the outcome for the patients and different sorts of responses to those treatments. So establishing a diagnosis when the patient first presents to us is of critical importance to help us to better prognosticate and tailor therapy to the individual in front of us.